Is it true love or a phobo? We're talking about Jessica Lowndes and John Lovitz's epic prank in today's Entertainment City. But first, Elton John is facing some shocking accusations. <laughs> Sir Elton John's former security guard has hit the legendary singer with a sexual harassment and battery lawsuit. The man claims John inappropriately touched and groped him a number of times while he was employed by the singer two years ago. In court papers obtained by TMZ, John is accused of putting his hands down the guard's pants, among other things. While doing so, the man also alleges John made statements including, say hello to Uncle Elton. Reps for the singer have not yet responded to the lawsuit. I know it's still the last week of March, but is it too early to say April Fools? Gotcha! After setting social media on fire with their alleged new romance, Canadian actress Jessica Lowndes and comedian John Lovitz are coming clean. Turns out that secret relationship, which had jaws dropping over the couple's 31-year age gap, was fake. It was all a scheme to promote Lowndes' new not-suitable-for-work music video, Deja Vu. The actress kicked the gag into high gear over the weekend, posting photos and videos teasing her new romance with an older man. It was the SNL alum himself who revealed he was Lowndes' new faux beau and calling her his bunny. Lowndes has since revealed that the pair met when they worked together last year, and she felt he was the perfect fit for her prank. Melissa McCarthy was glowing at the premiere of her new flick, The Boss, in L.A. last night. You're under arrest for insider trading. Michelle, don't struggle! McCarthy stars as a formerly evil boss who attempts to change her ways after serving prison time for insider trading. I think it's really fun. I mean, we work really, really hard on our script. That's why it works when we can improvise. We improvise a lot, but it never strays away from that, that map. The Boss hits theaters on April 8th. Janice Dickinson was spotted out and about in L.A. hours after revealing she has been diagnosed with breast cancer. The 61-year-old former supermodel says the non-invasive cancer was caught in its early stages and is not considered life-threatening. Dickinson, of course, made headlines recently when she accused comedian Bill Cosby of sexually assaulting her more than three decades ago. Do you hear that? Is it inducing waves of boy band nostalgia? That's because it's the new collaboration from certain members of the Backstreet Boys, NSYNC, 98 Degrees, and O-Town. Yep, basically what 90s dreams are made of. They released the pop power ballad to promote the upcoming made-for-TV zombie movie, Dead 7, which stars the former boy banders and comes out Friday. Brad Pitt is father to six kids with wife Angelina Jolie, but it turns out he could have had another. Grammy winner Melissa Etheridge has revealed that in the late 90s, she and her then partner almost asked the actor to be their sperm donor. Pitt and Etheridge were close friends back then, but Etheridge says she decided against asking him because she could tell how much he wanted children and her child wouldn't need another parent. Of course, as was revealed in a 2000 Rolling Stone interview, Etheridge and her partner chose a different famous name, David Crosby, to be their children's biological father. Remember to get your entertainment news first in the morning right here and anytime on Twitter at NCity.